Coming up on today's Code Bet Daily Weekly AFL Show, we are talking out the two huge semi-finals this weekend. Go the Blues, he says. I'm talking with the stats guy and Alex about player props, game picks, best bets. There's a giant 12-leg same-game multi for Rate My Multi as well. Stats guy, what are you most excited about? Bit of Ollie Lord to go back to back big games here for the port. Nice one. What about you, Alex? The two greens that aren't brothers to dominate, and there's going to be a big, big sound. <laughs> oh. Wow. It's a big green weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, it's Code Bet Daily Weekly, the AFL show. Check it out right now. Welcome to Code Bet Daily. It is the weekly AFL show, but also the daily show. The old combo. Don't mind this. Time for week two of the AFL Finals. That's what we're going to concentrate on today. We have, what, basically player props, game picks, best bets for two games? <laughs> You're going to say <laughs> every, games, every so all both. The games, both of them, sure. I'm your host, James Clements. I'm the editor of a very good website. In a surprise twist, that's called Code Bet. You can find it at codebet.com.au. I'm actually putting the finishing touches to my big Carlton Melbourne preview as we speak. Uh, so we're going to talk through a bunch of that, obviously. But you can find all the previews for all the NRL, AFL... NFL, all the good stuff this weekend, EPL this weekend, lots of stuff going on on the site at codebet.com.au. I'm joined as always by the Pontiffs. We've got Alex Donnelly over there. I'm enjoying watching you torture yourself again. (laughs) Like I'm surprisingly fine after the Swans lost and you're just like, I hate everything about my life right now. (laughs) I'm actually fine. I'm going to get to this. I'll get to it. I was about to say on Tuesday, you weren't great. I'm going to talk my way through it. Yeah. (laughs) That's what I do. I'm just great. The Swans are going to get Brody Grundy. Life's good. Oh, radical. Yeah. Noise. Yeah. Like, we got the stats guy here as well. What's yeah. going on, stats guy? Uh, I've just been tricked by a fake Tom Brown uh, yeah. account this morning. Yeah. A few people had, but yeah, other than that, I'm going well. Gee, just imagine if you're a me- media entity and thought that that was real. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Imagine listening to Tom Brown. <laughs> this is True. Code Footy Finals are back. Daily, weekly AFL show. It's Code Bed Daily. It is what it says on the 10, but just one code today. And we'll go through the two games with the player props and game picks and basically give ourselves a bit of a best bet. And a pick for the two semi-finals. Uh, there will be an NRL show as well uh, coming up today with nice. Alex and Phil. That's that special. provided Phil's Wi-Fi in Poland works. <laughs> Gonna be fine. They, they have Wi-Fi. Yeah. There. <laughs> uh, sure. Don't mention the war. I've also got a massive twelve-leg rate my multi. Nice. A bit, of a, a bit of a teaser well, for you. I was about to say, I can't wait for next week and I can read out like my 15-leg team Brownlow multi. I like it. <laughs> so let's do it. We're going to recap last week's results. Uh, I will, Alex and I both went two for. I picked uh, the four, Melbourne yeah. and I went for Port as well. You went for Sydney as well as Melbourne. Mm-hmm. And Stats Guy nailed three, three or four. Just, just smashing the tips as usual. Not bad. <laughs> so, just the tip. <laughs> without further adieu, let's get into it. Friday. That's right. Melbourne, Carlton. How are we feeling? Fine. <laughs> Melbourne. Timer. Dollar sixty-eight favorites. I believe the line still sits at six and a half. Uh, Stats guy has written down the plus seven and a half, and I looked for this before, and I couldn't oh, find it. It was on it. our site. It was on our site yesterday, might have and it's dropped back down to six and a half. So Ooh, okay. Carlton at two dollars twenty-five at the moment. The over/under has risen slightly. Well. No one can see outside right now, but it is beautiful. It is beautiful. It Melbourne is predicted to be beautiful again yes. tomorrow night. So, so going up a point from 155.5, it's now 156.5. Uh, I'll get into this in a second, but still, weather might not matter. I, yeah, I don't think it does. It wasn't that bad on Friday night, and we had, what, like 120 points? Exactly. Yeah. So let's do this when it comes to Melbourne Carlton. I'll talk out this idea about how I feel about Carlton. They've won. I don't care anymore. Exactly. Like, you want a final. Yeah. You want a final. The <laughs> monkey's off the back. <laughs> First time in 10 years. First time in a decade. Who cares <laughs> now? We'll just go out, play a bit of free fly footy, <laughs> smash the demons, oh. and go into a prelim. Where you get smashed by Brisbane. We're also probably just going to get smashed by Melbourne <laughs> this week. So <laughs> It's going to be worse. Your expectations next week will be wildly high. Like this week, it's like, nah. this is so good. We're here. We can win the flag. <laughs> oh, what are you crap. talking about? There I is no expectation. as it goes along. Yeah. Can yeah. you understand that you're playing Brisbane in Brisbane no matter yeah. Win, but you wins Carlton this game. fans have won two in a row and you're going to be that up and about. No, nah, no chance. We're just like, I think there's a, a harsh... a bit more level-headed, I think, yeah. than a lot of Carlton you, You're fans. way too level-headed. Yeah, yeah, there's I a harsh it. realist streak, I think, with the yeah. Carlton fans. It's like, I've been hurt before. Oh, the suffering that you guys went through on Friday night was just 
amazing. <laughs> 30 points up and you're just torturing yourself. Never in doubt. <laughs> Never in doubt. Never in doubt. <laughs> like St Kilda fans were more positive about their team. Imagine that. Right. Anyway, shush. Uh, <laughs> player props. Let's do it. Uh, player props for this one. To go through some of the Melbourne side, Petrarca 25 and a goal. Uh, you cannot get very good value for this anymore. It's a dollar ninety is the best one I could find, really? mm. which is je brutal, which is French for the brutal. And <laughs> That's a he's averaging twenty three point two a game and has eleven <laughs> in ten, I think, eleven goals in ten against the Blues. So doesn't mind going up against them, but doesn't quite have that absolute just fu sort of level of twenty five twenty six average. Yeah, but had twenty four and two in round twenty two which is just a lot of twos. Uh, <laughs> but he had 32-1 and one back in round 12, that Ooh. horrible Friday night game. So Thursday night? Friday night. It was one of those. It was a night game yep. in round 12. Uh, he also had 24-1 and one last year. So I think what that says to me is he's kicked four goals in the last three. I think he's going to hit the scoreboard. So your anytime goal part of that should be fine. Yep. Uh, the 25 disposals, look, he looked good last week as well. What did he have? He had 29, I think, against the yeah. Pies. So I think Truck's in pretty good form. They obviously lose Angus Brayshaw. Uh, and to actually, to be honest, we should have probably hit on that at the very start. Both teams in this game have got weirdly uh, synchronistic outs. Jack Martin suspended and you have Van Ruin suspended. Forwards, One yeah. seven foot tall. and <laughs> Harry Mackay out with concussion. Yeah, okay, that's oh, Van yeah. Ruin and Mackay. Yeah, yeah. Angus Brayshaw with concussion. So you've got sort of these mid... Jack Martin's not obviously a mid, but you have Smaller important, guys, you yeah. have important like cogs of their team. Yeah. I would argue that Jacob Van Ruyen things. and Mackay are just like, oh well, that's fine. But watch. whereas Brayshaw and Martin for both teams, are like, ah, oh, god, actual key pillars yeah. of both yeah, teams. Especially so. the Martin reason why Carlton week. started winning was literally Jack Martin coming into he the team great, in yeah. like round came, twelve. Came into the team Think for I, the Essendon game. Did they I not? lose that? He looked awesome though, and then they barely lost a game. So. Yeah, <laughs> oh, and I write about this. I've got the stat. Keep going. So it's a very, very strange one, but we've got the sort of uh, the setup where I don't think Silvani comes in. No, nah, they've come out this morning. They've already he's said not. that he's not past his physical. So uh, Matt yes, Kennedy right. so and Kennedy's good to go. Motlop, Kennedy and Motlop, likely one. I really like Motlop. Yeah. And uh, I'll get to one of my favorite player props with a uh, tool. But anyway, so Petrarca with the twenty-five and any time. I feel like without Brayshaw there, uh, he does even more heavy lifting, yep. and I think he gets that pretty easily. Same with Clary Oliver, Clayton Oliver, thirty plus disposals, dollar ninety. That's actually not as bad value as I expected. It's because he it's because hasn't got none of the footy in the last few weeks. It's because he's coming back from uh, injury. I don't know. Injury. <laughs> Tag. Other rumours. Just yeah. playing, playing pokies too much. Who knows? <laughs> he had 31 touches, 11 clearances and 10 tackles last week. You could have told me he got cool. 20 and I would have believed you. But that was it, right? He barely impacted. Gets butt. a lot of handballs. Counting, yeah. counting stats, you love to see it. He also averages 28 against the uh, Blues in his career, so there's plenty mm. there. And we're not betting on uh, impact, we're just betting on... Just betting on numbers. Yeah. Uh, he's also gone for 31 plus in four of his last five night games of the G, which is always a good Ooh. one for Clary, so it doesn't mind none of the lights there. Jack mm. Viney, he had a run of 25 plus for 11 straight games. And then Clayton Oliver came back. Came to an end last yeah, week. No good. Uh, son of Todd, <laughs> yeah, 31 son of last Todd. time they played. But do, tell you what, though, he would have kicked Brad Maynard's ass in that fight if they actually threw down. Oh, 100%. Yeah, I, was yeah, so yeah. I would not mess with uh, yeah. son of Todd. Yeah. Uh, but that was like... That's the important fact. <laughs> I'm trying to look at this one. So in the multi, I've actually landed on Lockie Hunter for 20 plus rather yeah. than Viney. Viney has ripped off to 25s. I think Hunter's the sort of dude who will... Hide out on the wing away Very from the much, You get a lot footy. of touches out Very there. Very much hurt this <laughs> Anyway, to fly through the rest of it, Bailey Fritch was uh, more like Bailey on the Fritz. Uh, <laughs> last week, three plus goals though against the Blues, $2.70. I don't mind this. He's got two plus in six straight of the G now and eight in yeah. his last four against the Blues. Yep. Uh, without Van Royen out there, I think Fritch will just have to go back and kick three at least. Well, he has to. For them to have a chance. And A and B. Oh. I love A and B. Alex Neil Bullen. Stats guy actually hit on this in his uh, teaser article. Oh, yeah, I was like, I've, I wrote this. <laughs> five best early bets. I pilfered a bit of it. Uh, 71% of his games is booted a goal. But my my favorite part is he's averaged 17 disposals over the yeah. last six weeks. This is one of so my favorite 15 bets. 15 plus yeah. disposals, anytime goal. I absolutely adore this one. $2.40. Yeah, he, he pushes up a bit like Thanks, Amy, as, a, as an extra mid from the half forward, which is exactly what you want. From and the without half Van Royen again. I feel like they'll need way more from him. Yep. Let's, this side. is a team that kicked eight goals last week. We've got to remember that. So they're not all of a sudden going to go, oh, we're going to kick 15. Like yeah, They nah, nah. can't score at but the these, moment. But these are the ones around the margins where they yeah. need to hit this end. And A and B is like the perfect margin goal yeah. scorer for them and should do it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Carlton side, you've got Walsh. Look, hasn't looked 
that great since coming back, but... I think we hold him to so high of a standard that when he has 30 touches in a final... Yeah, yeah. But, oh, you're not oh, that good. Sam Walsh is good. <laughs> yeah, 28, he 20, had 30 touches! Yeah, 28 and 29 in the last two weeks. He's gone for 25 plus and 21 of his 22 games of the G. It's pretty good. So... He's the, just never going to win a brown line. He's just... He's, he, he just doesn't stand out. His 30 plus... Oh, he sometimes does, but yeah, not as much is obviously as very low game. for this yeah. game. What I would actually suggest, I think Bet365 do the... Over-under. The over-under of like a specific oh, mark. If that lands at 29... If that lands at 28 and a half or 29 and a half, you'd probably get better value for that. So yeah, yeah. I'd wait on That's that really one. That's really good. Crips, 29 and a goal against the Ds in round 22. That was one of those moments where, oh, that's right, he kicks goals again. And he had a massive goal against the Swans last week. That was definitely still a free. It was absolutely um, naughty handballed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in it his wasn't. first ever <laughs> final, yeah, 21 and a goal. Felt like the Swans paid a lot of attention to trying to keep him out of the game. And they did. And they did. Yeah. And Akers stepped up. Chera stepped up. I'm going to lean on a bit of Chera, I think, for this one too. 25. I think Akers will be carrying a bit of a shoulder injury. I don't think you'll see him get too much of the ball. Yeah, I think he was looked really tired looked, by the end of that game. He threw he out cooked. his collarbone stopping, stopping that ball going over the line. <laughs> <Yep>. Getting <laughs> a touch. Don't so need I think, that. Yeah. I think, though, what that means is Cripps can actually have a bit of a crack here. He averages 26 over the last four against the Ds. The Ds don't tag either. And the Ds, look, he's had 29, 23, 26, and 20 to seven Ooh. disposal against them in the last four. So yeah. doesn't mind it. Give me 25 plus and a goal for Cripper. Uh, I think that gets to three dollars ten, which is actually really That's good. Pretty good. Uh, I have written down George Hewitt, but if Matt Kennedy comes back in, I'm going to steer clear of Hewitt. Uh, very similar sort of player, he kind of dudes just on the outside of the pack. Yep. Uh, Kennedy sometimes gets a bit more in and under. Hewitt's that sort of big body, but basically it's, it's a very similar role. So I'm going to steer clear of Hewitt. Both you're... big blockheaded dudes as <laughs> they well. They are, yeah. <laughs> Same as always. They got a lot of blockheads. But give me uh, Nick Newman. God. Hello. Hello, Newman. Newman. <laughs> uh, he's averaged 29 over his last six. That's a lot. He's been awesome. 25 yeah. plus is dollar eighty six at the moment. I think we better. So with Newman, this is exactly what you expect. Like Doc and Newman off the halfback flank, just racking up plenty of touches. As hopefully the demons go with their. Uh, bombing in long and hope for the best approach from last week. Oh, That'd God, be great. That, that, that was pretty bad. Yeah. They had 69 <laughs> inside 50s. Nice. nice. Uh, <laughs> inside 50s last week, yeah. which is just chaos. Their inside 50 disposal efficiency was 33. 30 something. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's absolutely A lot of out in the fools. Yeah. Uh, goal kickers really quickly. Charlie Kerno stinks against Melbourne. Yeah. I don't trust guy? Him. What was it? Six, six in, five, six in games. five games. I don't so trust him. Yeah. Stephen May is also a gun. So Go contrary play. He goes big. Team up Carlton win with Charlie four plus. That actually gets you to three seventy five, because you figure if he kicks four goals, Carlton. Wins yeah, that. that's true. That's true. And you're not going to get actual that much value with the f- just f- even four he goals got for Charlie. He held so. last week, Charlie, didn't he? He didn't have a great time, but this is without the Harry. Forward there. entries were horrible yeah. as well. Yeah, without Harry, I mean, there, didn't help. Tom clog- McGunn just monstered him, clogging there. stuff Tom. up. I think you might see Charlie on the lead a couple of times. That's the thing. Snag He's played better without he, Harry he, as well. I can't, except for there was a couple of marks on like eighty out. He took a couple of lead up marks there, but there was nothing hitting him up coming from nah. the goal square thirty. You know, like, oh god, Harry, he's going to get none this. None of that. Absolutely none of it. It was all sort of just boot into the pack. We'll see and hopefully can create some magic. Yeah. Hopefully it's, it's different this week. Side note: Jack Martin, Carlton team this year, nine one and two win yep. draw loss. Without him, five and seven. Yep. Yeah, Five and so. seven. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Matt Owies is the other one. If without Martin, they're going to need Owies and Motlop to step up. Motlop is always a handy sort of two plus. That's but me. Owies, I've got that written down. Owies two really plus like is two forty five. Yeah. He kicked two the last time they played. My thing though with Mackay out, old Harry McFive. Look for Deconi. He's got a goal in three of his last five. Oh. Took a bunch of grabs on Friday night. Yeah, pretty good. You'll have to was play a little bit more forward, yeah. And if they play Pitnet up against Gorn, maybe you swing to Koning forward to, you know, in between sort of throwing him up there. Just he gets out of Charlie's road a little bit more. He plays a little bit further up than Mackay does sometimes. Yep. So give me some to Koning anytime goal at a dollar nine. So Motlop's kicked goals in eleven in eleven of his nineteen games this year. In nine of those he's kicked two or more. Two. Okay, it. so if you go yeah, he kicks if one, he, he usually yeah. goes two, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going him two plus at two eighty five. I nice. like it. All right, first goal kicker, I believe we had a Stutz guy. Yeah, I just wrote a few of my favorite ones. A bit of value for the uh, Carlton. I'm gonna stay away from Big Charlie. I know he's uh, kicked eight in the last few years, first goals, which is a lot. But he's only kicked six goals in five games against the D's, as we just mentioned before. How have, have look- you not written Sam Doherty here like last week? Sam, yeah, I don't know. You can't even bet on Sam Doherty. The I don't worst think. Well, you can. first you goal can, kicker uh, pick. Like, yeah, I know, right? There was no chance anyone had him coming 
off a contest 40 hours. Oh, I know. That was absolute chaos, wasn't it? It's uh, gross. I'm going to go Matty Cottrell. I think he's the barometer for this Carlton side. He's getting up. When he kicks a goal, he gets absolutely up and about. Everyone gets around I don't him. trust that guy. I was going to say, <laughs> you say that, he goes completely MIA yeah. this week. And nah, we're like, nah, nah. Is he out there? Yeah. Uh, he he's lost he the dead game, set so. did it against the Swans, and then I don't think he kicked a goal since that game against the Swans in May yep. till last week. No, 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 he had uh, one the week before. Oh, sorry, and one. A, and then a couple, like two. He's been pretty consistent. He's been he's right, been, yeah. I, I, I like him, man. I used to not like him, but he's been awesome this year. So That's because he, he just kill you. Like, yeah. yeah, he's pretty scary. Uh, he's really quick and really good at the crumbs, but he can also take a big mark. So $21, I don't mind. I reckon he'll be starting down there. Uh, and then no, a bit more obvious one, Cozzy Pickett, not as much value, $11, still pretty pretty solid uh, compared to Charlie's $6. Uh, he's kicked the first goal eight times in the last three years, which is the most of any demon. Got 13 goals in his last eight games. Pretty consistent, so. Could have had five last week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cozzy missing yeah. a few in front of the sticks was He, that, he is prone rough. to that. Every few games he'll kick a few points, but then he, bounces, he usually bounces back. So I'm hopeful Cozzy and yeah. the man with the immaculate hair just absolutely butchered it last week. Yes. So Wasn't I great. actually I didn't write too much about Cozzy just because I think the mercurial nature of his kicking mm. he He's could a bit have inconsistent he like could have that, three yeah. in this game he could also go zero for three and mm. I'm. I just it's hard. He kicked thirty five twenty seven this year, which is yeah, it's a lot of points. it's a lot of points. Great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, the game picks, however, the under is my play here, even though. It looks like it should be fantastic weather. It was fantastic weather last week in Carlton, Sydney. Was, I mean, it did rain. No, it, nah, it was pretty for wet. For the third quarter. It, second, third, it, last it week was cold, quarters. but it wasn't like, you know. Shouldn't affect the game It shouldn't much. have affected yeah, too much. True. It was a massive breeze. Though. And then Melbourne Colling was very similar, similar on the Thursday night. I feel like we're still going to go the unders. But just crucially, this is Carlton, Melbourne. There's going to be 100,000 people going bonkers. It's going <laughs> to be yeah, high be pressure nuts. and tense. Yeah. Well, it's more that Carlton, Melbourne play just brutally ugly games against each True. other. True. Each time they're, they're going hammer and tongs because in the last five, I think uh, we've seen a 60-56 in round 22. We saw 61-44. saw 79-74. We've had a 53-54 in the last five games. Mm. That is absolutely brutal territory. So even the 79-74 game still hits this under, right? If my math is correct. Just, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. 155 and a half. There you go. Mm. So I'm going the under. I think it's just a tough slog. You've got two top four defenses. I think, what, Melbourne ended up second, Carlton ended up fourth. Uh, but the actual game pick, I'm going to go Carlton at the line plus six and a half. Why is that, you might ask, Jim? Yeah. And I'd say, well, I don't feel wildly <laughs> confident about this game, but I also don't really care at this point because we won a final. <laughs> hey. And if we go out and smoke Melbourne, that'd be great. But I think we just grind out another win. The plus six and a half, though, for Carlton is a, is the key number because three of the last five between these two teams has been decided by five points or less. Ooh. So if I'm getting six and a half for a team that I can believe that I believe can win, I'm taking that six and a half points. And uh, I think you've also seen... When it comes to the unders, Melbourne talk about forward lines, kicked eight goals last week. At the G over their last five, I think they're averaging seventy five points. Which the is, Blues yeah, not great. over the same period, seventy four points. So it is oh my game. brutal. <laughs> so I think we'll see a tight one. I think Carlton just maybe squeak out a win. And if they don't, me sitting there in the stands going, Why do we lose by four? But at least my bet covered. <laughs> True. Yeah. So I'm gonna go Carlton. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with D's. I'm gonna go against you here. You're I, fired. You're, you're fired. fired. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to tell you. But I don't know. Take, I just, a, take a long walk. I like their midfield depth of D's. I think yeah, they're a bit more finals experience, things like that. And I God reckon you didn't buy that new phone. I think it was Melbourne uh, yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> playing last week against uh, the Blues. I reckon they could have ran over them towards the end of that game. So I'm just gonna go the D's. I really like the D's in the under as well. I think it's just under three dollar odds, Good just because that under. I think I wrote down the totals last time of the last two times they've played were 117, 105. So you know, I don't think they're gonna get anywhere. That, that was also point. raining sideways. One that of night them was, the yeah, yeah. And then you got no uh, Van Royen and Mackay. I think they're both big outs. I know Mackay. Obviously, I don't think Mackay's a big out. But at all. I think just it's another great. big, big market down so, there. Yeah, that they, they're, they're losing. Yeah. What are you going to pick, Alex? Flaggers. Right. Oh, I think <laughs> stop saying flaggers. <laughs> there's a weird one. So I've just talked up this unders vibe. Like if one team smashes the other, it's Melbourne beating the yeah. That's why I'm Carlton, right? Not because say the one to three, like what they. They absolutely smoked Richmond at the G, like 130 to like 80 something. Mm. Like if this gets squirrely, that's where it ends up as well. Yeah. And like you're just sitting there going, what happened? But very, very clearly these two teams, the defenses should just keep it tight enough. The quality of forward is just so sporadic I think the Carlton defense 
beats the Melbourne forward line more than the Melbourne defence beats the Carlton forward line because you literally have the best full forward in the competition. That's true, yeah. Against yeah. a forward line that has Bailey Fritch as your lead-up yeah. target I against Tom Charlotte, McDonald, yeah. who's as quick as me. Kerno, like a lot of games this year, will yeah, decide how this game goes. He ki- if he kicks three, Carlton will win. Yeah. That's why I love that four and then Carlton yeah. win. Yeah. That's probably what, if he kicks what's four, gonna be, gonna uh, yeah. my best bet. Just hashtag spoiler alert. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> All right. Let's get into it. Code bets preview for the Saturday second semi-final. Hmm. Port Adelaide versus GWS. Take it away, Alex. Port, $1.64, minus 8.5. The Giants, 235 again, 8.5. The over, under, 166 and a half. You can find 174 and a half for the over if you want as well. Um, I'm just putting the finishing touches onto this preview as we speak. I haven't finished my Port Adelaide part, but I've started sort of most of it. And the obvious starting point for Port Adelaide is is future Brownlow medals, Zach, ba- Zach Butters. <laughs> yep. 30 plus in his last seven. Uh, well, he's averaged 29 or more. And in his last four games of the Adelaide Oval, he's had 30 plus. He only had the 29 last week. The six before that, he'd had 30 plus. So that's about $2 at the moment. But then you look Ooh. sort of digging into, it's like how you said, you've had that favorite multi all year with Butters, Rosie, Wines, blah, blah, blah. Mine's Butters 30, Rosie in Houston, 25 plus. Ooh. Four bucks 90. So Rosie's had 25 plus in his last 12 at the Adelaide Oval. Also, because he can bomb a goal. He's, this is why I think he's so in the good future. At goals, yeah. I, Early call. I think at the end of their careers, Connor Rose will be held in higher regards than Zach Butters. I don't mind that call. I don't know. Butters is just Butters so is good. Well. But I think Rose just, he still has another level that he can go to. He hits the scoreboard more than what Butters I don't does know, I as well. I like that he looks like Roose Bolt. Yeah, well, fair. <laughs> But anyway, so 20 in a goal for Rose because he's the sort of guy that can get quick handball out from a stoppage, bang, from 50. Like, oh, yeah. Rose can bomb it. Anyway, yeah, can. 20 in a goal is $1.88. Nice. Ollie Wine's one of your favourite ones. 20 plus is $1.50. He's had 20 plus in his last 37 games at the Adelaide Oval when Port Adelaide have been favourites. Oh, that's oh, a great that's, one. Wow. 37. <laughs> I'm 37. All, all over that. That's well such a good on record. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, hopefully Stats Guy gets into more Port ones after this, but moving on to oh. GWS for the parts <laughs> that I've done. Uh, Tom Green, 35 plus. Uh, in the past five weeks, Tom Green's averaged 35.8 possessions Jeez. per game. Wow. Yeah, 35 last week against St Kilda and was awesome. He's still $2.60 for 35 plus. He had 31 and two against Port Adelaide a month ago. So just hoping that he can obviously get those few extra possessions, but they did get blown off the water, the, uh, off the park that day. Uh, out of the water and off the park. Yeah, everything. <laughs> they just got blown out of Adelaide. They're like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> yeah, that's a new one. Out yeah. of Adelaide. <laughs> uh, Jake Riccardi, four plus. So this is a big one for me. I'm, uh, what my whole thing about this is Port have no defenders. With uh, Tom Jonas, who was probably going to come in for Trent McKenzie. Yeah, well, it's a bit He injured himself last week. McKenzie's probably not going to play. Obviously, this is a bit hard. We're doing this before selection and there's question marks. And also Williams with his hamstring issue as well. Those blokes don't play. Port are screwed. Mm. Like, Riccardi stepped up last week against St Kilda. That was with Callum Wilkie in that side as well. He kicked three. He can kick four plus here. He's kicked 17 goals in his past seven games, which also included four against Port a month ago. He's $8 oh, to that. kick the four goals Jeez. once again. Mm. Uh, Josh Kelly. I think he's I think he's the most important player for GWS. I know everyone will go, oh, Toby. I think it's Josh Kelly because sort of when he fires, they win. It's more like Toby can sort of go missing kind of like he did last week where only had like 19 Didn't have to one. rely on him as much. Whereas yet. Kelly, 27 and two. Look at his Port Adelaide record or Adelaide Oval record. 14 games at the Adelaide Oval. Averages 29 touches. He averages just over 25 possessions a game in his 14 finals. In his last 17 away games, he's had 25 plus. Oh, I'm looking at him bad. to get to that 30 plus mark at about $2.25 with better. And the same goes for Lockie Whitfield. He's had 30 plus in his last three. The Giants have won all three. He's a buck 95 to do that. And a little couple of these better same game multis that we all enjoy. Toby to kick three and Tom Green to get 30 plus $3. Giants to win, Toby two, Jesse Hogan two plus $4. Ooh. I'm pretty I keen like on the Giants if you can't tell this already. Yeah, I just feel like Hogan's – like, the problem is – But, they've Hogan, got, again, no defenders. No defenders, he I just know. But they've got a Lear still. So what, okay, who's Lear going to go into? Jesse Hogan, he'll go uh, Hogan, Riccardi, or Toby Green? Mm. It's or, a tricky uh, one. Probably Hogan. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, I just don't like uh, relying on Hogan. I mean, yeah. like, he's kicked like 15 goals in the last month. Nine of them came in one game. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's six in three. 
That's all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's the Alcohol. two. Six in three is two. Six in three is two at least, yeah. uh, For the first goal kicker, Stats Guy's done the article, but I had to throw up the stumps with Callum Brown. He's kicked a goal in his last eight games. We lost our minds last week when he kicked his goal. Got a bit too loud about that. He's $18 <laughs> to do so. Stats Guy, take it away. Uh, Ollie Lord, uh, just a player prop to start with with him. He kicked four goals last week, even though they were smashed by Brisbane. He was awesome. Uh, he doesn't always have the number one defender on him, but even when he did last week, he had Harris Andrews on him. He was taking contested marks against Harris Andrews. Sort of was he breakout game and everyone goes oh now I know who that Ollie Lord guy is uh, headband dude headband yeah uh, he's yeah, kick four last week two plus for him he's just $2.20 so I oh. don't mind that I think they're going to look not for him bad. again he's not got his bad. confidence up from last week and then first goal I just think you could get clunk an early mark so $15 I don't mind for that Watch one Todd Marshall do it after spraying him everywhere <laughs> yeah, last week yeah, yeah I mean, he'll be in my articles my other choice I reckon for Port but maybe even Brent Daniels I think you talked uh, talked him up last week yep. Alex he's had a pretty good season I think he's got three first goals for the Giants this year which is second or third to Toby so uh, don't mind him, he's got the speed and really good crummer, so fourteen dollars as well. Around what that price 14, is Briggsy. Briggsy, <laughs> I don't even think he's on there. He, so he doesn't kick goals. The interesting thing for me, so hitting the actual odds for this, yeah. Port being a dollar sixty four, GWS two thirty five. The line is shortened uh, from nine and a half yeah. back down to eight and a half, which gives me just that little bit of pause because there's clearly money coming in on GWS. I suppose we haven't talked about that Port did win by like fifty points, 50, literally the, a month ago. The yeah. last two times, that's what I'm worried about. Mm. Well, they've uh, won GWS four straight. Gone. Yeah, yeah, over GWS, yeah. right? So also GWS kind of stank for two years as well. Yeah, so. last year I don't really look at because they were really yeah. poorly Port coached. weren't very good either. So. Port, yeah, 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 but they had they had the list to do something and didn't do anything. GWS were just crap. Yeah, but bad coach. It's sort of trying to set this uh, game up and trying to figure out like what a pick's going to be. Tricky. Like, yeah. You go Port smoked last week, smoked by yeah. Brisbane in Brisbane. GWS looked awesome at the G. Adelaide Oval though, a little bit different. Strangest around. I land with this. I think I'm taking GWS at the line. Yeah. And I think it's an absolute rip snorter that Port might win. Oh, okay. But GWS put Coniglio back in this team. Yep. Presumably. Eight and a half points. I'll take my eight and a half points. I'm going to go two underdogs, I think. Yeah. Uh, also, the overs. So th when they played each other in round 23, it was 221 points. The over that night yeah. was 169 and a half. Nice. Uh, well over that. Also, Port averaged 93 points per game too. GWS hit the 100 last week. Yeah. Both of their finals went well over. Yeah. So this was the game. Like, oh, Ross is going to ruin footy. And halfway through the first quarter, we're like, hang on a second. Oh, we're <laughs> yeah, it was, it was good. It was good that we were there. It was great yeah. to watch, but it was just like, oh, no. 77-101 <laughs> yeah. last week. And so week, that's like, five straight Giants games that have gone over as well. Ooh. And the little quirky one. We love a little quirky one. <laughs> Port Adelaide to win the first quarter. Yeah, GWS like have lost nine straight first quarters under lights. Port have won eight of 12 first quarters at home this season. In all eight when they've led at quarter time, they've won. Wow. They're $1.75 really? to lead at quarter not, time. Not bad. Wow. Uh, so I note, feel like GWS will win. I feel like GWS at the line is my favorite pick for this. I feel like Port could win it, but oh, so basically, it wouldn't surprise me if Port won. Yeah, GWS covered. Yeah, That's like, oh, I'm not surprised the favorite's going to win. Yeah, but I'm, I am going to take GWS yeah. to win. Oh, GWS. All right, I can't yeah. believe I've got both my tips are against you guys. I'm going to I'm going to go Port at home. They've just Stats been, guy, more like ten, favorites guy. Ten and two there this more year. More like smoked us in the picks guy. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just picking winners. I don't care if it's favorites or not. <laughs> <laughs> All he does is win. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, but I, I'm Glad a bit worried no about that line as well. So I wouldn't mind you know, the line. But I'm just going to go Port one to thirty-nine. They have no defenders. I know, but their midfield. The ball's better. just going to go in. I'm like, oh, Toby Green. I'm like, oh, Jake Riccardi. Oh, Jesse Hogan. They're going to uh, yeah. have to kick 120 points to win. Charlie Dixon. I nah, don't know if he's going to be able to play. Todd Marshall can't kick straight. Where are they going to get? I don't think they need 120 from. points Finlayson to win. Could kick eight. Yeah. He's going to have to go to fullback because they've got yeah. no defenders. Oh, we'll see. I, 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 yeah, I might Let's have to change when the team's get coming. Willie Rioli smashing it. Mm. I just think Adelaide Oval, it's a crazy place. There's crazy fans, the Port fans. Uh, they're 10-2 and two there. I don't I care if they have a few more GWS outs. GWS have won like seven straight against the Crows at Adelaide Oval, so mm. it's not like they can't win at the Adelaide Oval. Yeah, yeah. but that was against the Crows. Yeah, but it's still the Adelaide Oval. It's the same thing. Anyway. Just that in excess plays before the game, and everyone's like, shut up, Koshy. Anyway, go uh, go the power for me. Nice one. All right. There we go. Let's do some best bets. Yeah, where is it there? It's best bets. It's best bets. It's time for all the best bets. All right, best bets for week two of the finals. Charlie four plus and the Carlton win. As I said, it's the only <laughs> way you can sort of uh, dig out some actual Open value. your other eye, Jim. Yeah, just <laughs> <go>. <laughs> Bang. Uh, But truck. 
Petrarca. And you like plus plus well. I've got that in my best bets too. To get that to $2, like you're laughing. So I like yep. that. Uh, stats guy? Got to go uh, Matt Owies. I talked him up earlier in the week. Two plus goals. I think he's going to have a bit of an and impact. you're relying on Matt Owies. I don't know. I just really like him in this one. He's kicked two plus in three of his last four. Uh, Did he kick two last week? No. No. Okay. I think that was... No. <sighs> I, was <about> no. <laughs> say, I think that was the one. stroke. Uh, and then who was the other one I had? Oh, Ollie Lord. I just mentioned him. I think that's a really good bet at $2.20. Kick four last week. So when you're getting full forward that's over $2 for two plus, I think that's really good value. Nice one, Alex. Uh, Toby Green, two plus and 20 plus disposals at $3.29. Ooh. I've got it written in Ooh. my preview here. Where is it? That Toby's got like a ridiculous record at the Adelaide Oval. He averages 22.4 disposals at the Adelaide Oval. And in finals, he's kicked 21 goals in 12 games as Not as bad. we've said big game player it's Toby time baby also that Riccardi 4 plus at $8 really keen on that and G- if I'm keen on the goals GWS <laughs> in the overs $4.60 that's Ooh. a really good one actually uh, if we want to rate my multi rate my multi I thought I played a bit safe this week with the Rate My Multi. Here's a 12-legger. <laughs> I did. Is this the donation or the Rate My Multi? It's a little that. bit of a combination, shall we say. <laughs> Clayton Oliver, 25-plus disposals. No worries there. 31-plus and four of his last five night games. Petrarca, I've talked him up plenty in this year show. 25 disposals. Uh, Petrarca's got 24-plus and five of his last six against Carlton, so... Should be all right. Lockie Hunter, 20 plus as well. He's averaging 22 a game. Mm-hmm. Salem is the interesting one there. Ooh. And that's a really big value bump. He's got 20 plus uh, in eight straight against the Blues. Oh, I was going to say. Uh, Absolutely cruising there. Yeah. So not bad. Sam Walsh. Walsh, hey, 25 plus <laughs> and 21 of his 22 games. Of the G uh, last 22, obviously. So 25 plus there. 25 for Cripper. Patrick Cripps, as I mentioned, 26 a game over the Demons in his last four. Nick, hello, Newman, 25-plus. <laughs> He's done that in five of his last six. Sam Doherty, 20-plus. Because I feel like... The goal kicker. <laughs> if Newman hits 25, Doc usually sits around that 20 yep. mark, and I think there'll be plenty of the ball in that halfback flank. Uh, he's gone for 25-plus and 13 of his last 16 anyway, so I think Ooh. he should be right. Charlie, 2-plus. Struggled against the Ds, two plus as we right, talked yeah. about, 6 in 5. I think has struggled the last three three games. With, to be honest, with a couple of without Mackay up there, I think he gets a couple of cleaner looks and he gets to yep. two. Sorry, three of his last four. He was good against Gold Coast, but he struggled against Melbourne, struggled against the Swans, struggled against GWS. I think now he goes bang. Uh, Bailey, two plus the man with the immaculate hair. He's done that in six straight at the G. It's getting higher, Matty Owies. He's got a goal in ten straight games. Make it eleven. And A and B. Alex Neil Bullen. Anytime goal. Yeah, we love him. He's, He's kicked 70 in 71% of his games this year. One of the great stats from the stats guy. Thank you. About uh, time you brought back stat of the day. Yeah. Anytime goal for A and B. Alex Neil Bullen. That gives us a 12 leg Melbourne versus Carlton. Same game multi of $43.60. Oh. Uh, Gentlemen, rate my multi. Five. I'm Oof. worried about that many goals. <laughs> like just these two teams after last week. That's, that's a total of. Six. I'm still worried about it, mate. <laughs> Across I, both teams. I watched both games last it's week. Gonna be I'm very to, worried. 30 to 22, according to Alex. Would I just, after last week, it's like, it's it's very hard to rely on the goals. I'd rather go like a lot of possession ones rather than yeah. goals. That has uh, a lot of possession yeah, I know. ones. <laughs> I actually cut back on the goals basically yeah. for that exact thing because I think it's a bit A lot tricky. of time in the midfield. A bit tricky to sort of like carve out specific goals. What I mean is like spreading the goals like so far as well. It's yeah, just... I'll give it a seven just because – or maybe even – I was going to go a little lower because I don't trust Salem at all. I'd, ta- I'd take all of that except for Salem. I just – He's had a pretty crappy year. So. You could take Salem out and replace him with Viney, but Viney but, yeah. has very little value. Salem's been terrible. I'm yeah. also not about that. Just also loves car- carving up Carlton though. But yeah, been... so, yeah, that's true. So, so don't mind it, yeah, though. Seven. It's going to be an interesting one. I'm excited for it. He's hoping that one hits. <laughs> and is that it? I think that might be yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That's it. Code Bet Daily done for today. It's also the Code Bet Weekly AFL Show Dunskies for this week. We'll be back on deck with the Daily Show tomorrow, but we will have an NRL show in between. Hopefully. That'll be Alex Maybe. and Phil breaking down from two, Poland. two big NRL games this week. It should be very good. We've got a massive- <laughs> They're in New Zealand and Melbourne. How wild is that? Uh, <laughs> Rugby yeah, League Heartland. Yeah, yeah. That's so weird, yeah. Either way, get right around all of our shows. Hold all, hold all tickets via punters.com.au. Currently being edited literally right now. The AFL show, the NRL show, the EPL show for CodeBet, the CodeBet Daily Show, NBA Australia, NFL Australia. Jeez, we've got a lot of shows. Yeah. It's a lot of shows. <laughs>
Like reviewing star them all, would you? Or stats go, bash up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if I have to. Or he's going to come follow. around your house and be weird. <laughs> Just standing outside your window. Hello. <laughs> Frank Walker. <laughs> yeah, that was a Frank Walker, yeah. Check us follow across all the socials. What do we got? Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Twitch, X, and Threads. I opened uh, Threads this morning. Send in any questions via the <laughs> socials, any multis you want us to rate, we'll do exactly that. What's Grandma McCallion's pick of the weekend? That's what we need. You send her a text message. Don't be so rude to your grandma and bring oh, it on right, air tomorrow. Right. Fifth I talked to, to my grandma. Thank you very much. Done. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice. Anything Damien Oliver's on. <laughs> Alligator blood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, he's on alligator blood. There you go. There we go. Thank you, Stats Guy. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Cheers. Thanks always to Geraldinho over there behind the desk producing a storm. Back in the there. hat. I love Doing it. great. Yeah, he's got his Steven Spielbergo hat on. <laughs> All right, what do we say, Stats Guy? Gamble responsibly. All right, may all your picks come in. Happy punting. Go Blues! And we'll catch you next week and tomorrow because that's what we do. Go Bet Daily Weekly AFL Show out. What's gambling really costing you? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.